And still on health news, scores of student nurses of the University of the Bahamas are preparing for the nursing and allied health profession by learning more about it during a pre-orientation session at the Grosvenor Close Center this morning. Health Minister Dr. Dwayne Sands attended the session that was geared at making the transition to the program easier for the student nurses. And with Bahamian nurses being recruited by other countries for more attractive packages, the health minister says the focus is to now improve the offerings here at home for retention. Nursing is still, despite the challenges, a very appealing and attractive profession. We are seeking to make it an even better uh, calling, a better vocation. Uh, without nurses, we could not run our healthcare system. They are a critical component. And so what we'd like to do in a very real way is to eliminate some of the problems in recruitment, in training, and retention. Uh, we're going to speak about uh, access to new scholarships for nurses. We're going to talk uh, a little bit this morning about some of the things that we want to do to make the stress that they go through uh, a bit less. Some of the topics covered at today's session include the nursing grant stipend, professional conduct of nurses and confidentiality, and preparing for academic success. Chairperson for Nursing and the Allied Health Professions, Leah Roll, says about 107 students are new to the program. The university has an orientation program that they that they offer for all students. What the students out here actually did, because nursing is unique, we're, we're different, and, and so we have a lot of challenges, a lot of a lot of hoops to go through and to navigate and so the students decided that the student decided that what they would do would be to just offer this pre-nursing orientation to students so what it does is prepares the student for some of the challenges that they're going to face within the first year in regards to the registration period the late registration the add and the drop and so they're actually going to be doing sessions today with the students showing them how to do add and drop the period for it and informing them of a lot of information that is going to be beneficial for them navigating their path throughout this um, semester.